Welcome everyone! In the video today, we're exploring the pressed glass technique, or verpressé. That's it for the French in this video. <laughs> Welcome to Design Education with Mia. This process was introduced in 1827. It's a manufacturing process used when we want to have textures on both the inner and outer layers of the product. So this technique is called pressed glass because of the method used to make it. So basically it consists of taking a piece of molten glass and pressing it between a male and female metal mold. Now these molds are usually heated so that the glass doesn't break. The space between the female and male mold will determine the thickness of the product, which with this process will be quite thick. This is for thick glass, all right? The pieces produced with this technique normally have a functional use rather than a decorative one. Examples of the kind of product that can be achieved using this technique are this orange press. Uh, now, this is a single finished product, as you can see. Uh, so you squeeze on top and the juice runs down and the um, seeds are collected using this texture around the, the squeezer. And then you can get the juice from there and that's the spout. Another example would be these ashtrays. Uh, so as you can see, this one is really, really thick. And at the same time, it has this like n nice texture on it. Today, this process is fully automated, but can be done manually or partially automated. Depending on size, today we can manufacture about 5,000 pieces per hour. Now this technique doesn't allow for production of pieces that are closed. So for example, jars or bottles, because you want to be able to retrieve the glass piece once you separate the two molds. And if you have a jar or a bottle, it has a neck that closes in. And so you can't retrieve the male piece from inside, uh, which is a problem. This technique does provide a high level of precision and has an error margin of about one millimeter. So we'll finish up by talking about the environmental impact of this process. Uh, now, as we know, glass is recyclable and widely recycled, which means we need to employ less raw and primary materials. Yay! But the glass making process does use a lot of energy uh, because you need to constantly be reheating the pieces so they don't break. And then you need to gradually cool them down, which takes a lot of energy. Another thing is that as you're making these glass pieces, there are particles that get into the air and pollute it. So not great. All right, so that's it for the pressed glass technique. I hope you learned something new today. Hit that like and subscribe button for more, and I'll see you later.